So we have here Dylan, what's your last name? Dylan Morris. And we're having some pizza and we're gonna be playing with the Nokia Ozo and he's gonna be walking us through his workflow for using this amazing camera. Yeah, what would you like? Would you like a beer, a Red Bull, some Ooh, juice? I'll take a beer. Um, we have a um, oatmeal stout, a juicy watermelon, a Blue Moon horchata. That's, that, that's dubious, that's dubious. That. Really? Okay. <laughs> You got one hand too. Don't Come worry, on. I got this. this is like losing all of stuff. <laughs> um, so the one thing that is missing is another battery and the battery charger that lives there. Mm -hmm. It's sleek like everything else they make and expensive. Um, so yeah, this is the camera. Then you got all the cables here, um, including this little doodad, which is something to get it from SDI BNC to Thunderbolt. Um, then we got an extra media module here. And that's just the, oh, the, thing that, those going the thing that fits into the battery. Foam bit there. And then the oh, hood, man. which is like a falcon hood. Yeah, that's, that's, that's awesome. so cool. It has like a nice little case with it, you know, like the oh, it makes it That's case. the battery? Yeah. Can I feel the battery? Sure. How many times have you used this for? Oh, wow. Here's the camera. Just, uh, no, it's a little heavy. Yeah. Seems <laughs> like it. And this is the power adapter, and that's like the only two ports on it. Cool. Besides like battery and everything awesome. there. Awesome. And the SD? The SDI cable will run to this, which lets you plug it into a computer to monitor. So the card For non, um... is built right into the, it's a proprietary like, okay, so it's, it's not a battery card. thing. Gotcha. Yeah, it's, that's it. They designed that's it themselves. The this is the memory card. That's the only one they got. It's all, they're all 500 gigs. <laughs> they're all tiny and they're all uh, USB 3.0. The 500 gigs, it's so tiny. 50, that'll get you 50 minutes. That's it, yeah. and for 500 so 10 gigabytes. Gigs a minute, or wow. 10, yeah, 10 gigs a minute. That's pretty crazy. So they custom designed this themselves because it's running the eight lenses or four if you're shooting in that mode. Yeah. This will look great right next to the levitating speaker too. Where's that? Right down here. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, this comes off just Pull it and oh my God. there you go. So that was beautiful. A... Wow. So to put this thing in, you have to unlatch the latch down there. Then it just slides in and that brings it all the way. Super sick. You got three buttons on top. The on off, which is the other way around. Uh, someone mm -hmm. picked on the, <laughs> the label. Wi-Fi button and record button. So you can start and stop this without a computer. Nice. The Wi-Fi lets you connect it with a computer and you can either monitor over Wi-Fi but that's like super laggy compared to the running a feed straight out. Um, it is data over SDI so you can actually break it up into the eight different images it's getting. Hmm. Yeah. Each of these are the microphones I'm guessing each of these little. Mm -hmm. yeah, Do you usually things. use that on camera audio or not? It's 360 I... audio yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's ambisonic, but it's like any on-camera mic. Right. Not the best, but it's not the worst. So what are you using for your backups? Backup, I generally use like the Core Tetra. That's okay. the one that I have. Stop eating the camera. Um, I don't. I feel like it's unsafe to leave it like this. Try lifting the stand up. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Uh, it's, it's got a couple it's weights in there. Heavy. It's like why did they make it that heavy? But no, it's smart. It's totally smart. You, I don't think you would need to. It's it's heavy enough where it, like you can, you can move it if you're using two hands, but it's enough where it's gonna keep it down. So the Ozo is great for any like live stream production. It's expensive as well. Yeah. Um, well, I've seen I like haven't... the room of material or processors that are necessary to do that. Right. When they do events like I think they did one at Upload VR. Seems pretty daunting. Recently, it is a whole room and like racks and. Oh, they yeah, didn't just right Earlier you were asking about the computer mm. the computer you need to mm. stitch this, which used to be the Mac Pro, like you said. Um, they rolled out PC version of their software eight months ago. Mm -hmm. You need, t it. the specs say you need two 1080s, two GTX 1080 cards, graphics cards, mm -hmm. as a minimum. I was using a computer with one 170 graphics card. Oh, wow. If I would try to put out anything besides an editorial 
like non-stitch or a rough stitch like mp4 export it would just mm -hmm. crash i got a, a pc it's like the first one i i built for stitching with like auto panel video mm -hmm. that was the first computer i built in like 15 years like pc <laughs> I've, I've had max mm -hmm. so that was a, a learning experience and i just built my second in a while and that was also a learning experience I mean, you can also rent Mac Pros. I was looking at that before these last few shoots I was on, and it's like 750 a day, so it's like, I might as well just build and rent them mine. Hello. Hey, what up? Oh, hey, what's going on? No, much. How you doing? <laughs> Kroger's chilling. How you doing? Yeah. Can you get in there? Can you get that Nintendo yet? <laughs> it just came in? It just came in today? Yep. Man, okay, okay. I've been I bought, I get it from Walmart. Yeah, from Walmart. Because Amazon, they screwed up, man. They sent to Florida. There's a bunch of scammers on there. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. Oh, I saw it. What do you think is the biggest advantage of this camera versus any other camera on the market right now? Besides the channel. So, the big advantages of this is it's got one battery, one memory card, mm -hmm. one power in, well, I guess. Yeah, I guess one power in and one signal out. It's super simple. So does this one, though. <laughs> it does, but it's all one plug. It's true, it's true. What, what is the, the, grid, the highest res you can get out of it? That is, that's the downside. Like, I'm not afraid to talk about the downsides of this camera because it is not the first camera I jumped to. The downside, I would say, number one is price. It's, you're going to be paying around two grand for a full package. And... That's a lot, but you know, it's a cinema level camera. Uh, it shoots a raw image, which is great. Doesn't have the dynamic range you can get with other cameras, but it's decent. You're future proofing your media though this way. That way the client will be able to use this a couple years out still. Right? I, I, would, I would say the opposite because the other big downside is resolution. Mm. It only shoots 4K. Mm. It only shoots 30 frames per second, which is what I would say is like the bottom level of what you need for a nice image. But it's it's still in there. Like 4K works great. The lab for... one that's stitched is a 4K stereo 4K image. Yeah. With at only 30 frames per second. Yes. So wouldn't you say that going with like a black magic? Do you I mean do you get better low light than with like this a... the low light's okay? It's like, all right, uh -huh. the compression is okay because it's like eight lenses, eight sensors going to one card, so they can only cram you know, so much in one pipe. Would you want to do a low light shootout with the Z? Absolutely, yeah. Hello. Hello, Chris. So this is the view where you see each lens. It's full vignettes, so they don't bother showing you beyond that. Um, and it can do live equirectangular projection with rough, you know, stitches. Yeah. And that is previewing at four frames a second right now. It stays around there on this, on this lag. computer. And the lag can be anywhere from a couple seconds to like a minute and a half. I was having some issues So yesterday. where's, that, where's that stitch line? You see right there? Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna run a side-by-side -side test on the Z-Cam and the Ozo for low light. Oh yeah, I wanted to get an outside. Oh, I love how one's recording, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, two are recording, both the, um, these guys. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. Oh. No glasses? Alright. I like the glasses. I like the glasses, too. Yeah, I do one scholarly. without. I'm used to the glasses. I got one with. <laughs> okay. With. Okay. I just told you to open that. <laughs> Can you also let me know if this light is too blown out, too? Okay. Here's Should I stand on the sofa? Yeah, stand on the sofa. Get, get some vertical. <laughs> that's Marlo's yeah, favorite that's spot, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready? One, two, three. There we go. Sweet. What is this? Is this rolling? Oh, yeah, this is. You, what is the green? Yeah, um, thing? yeah. It's, it's for the green. Oh, great. And, and, uh, and check this out. Bam! Bam! <laughs> Bam! In 360. <laughs> I got this thing just to do that. Let's see. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. We're good. Oh. Get the right. shot. Yes. You know you want to do it. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> 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 <laughs>